There is one man known for his sharp wit and unapologetic views, Ricky Gervais. He's a comedian, writer, and actor who's never been afraid to speak his mind. But in recent years, his outspoken nature has put him at odds with what many call woke culture and Hollywood's more progressive values. If I have offended anyone, and I'm sure I have, then I don't apologize for it. Because there's a spate of comedians going, oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. Shouldn't have said it then. Are there things you shouldn't make jokes about? No, there's nothing you can't make a joke about. It depends what the joke is. Comedy comes from a good or a bad place. It's contextual. So what is it about Ricky Gervais that stirs the pot? Why does he consistently clash with what's often called woke Hollywood? In this video, we'll explore Gervais' views on gender, cancel culture, and free speech. We'll see how these views have sparked backlash and why he stands by them, even when facing criticism. Stick around as we delve into the life and values of Ricky Gervais. Gervais has always been a provocateur, using comedy as a tool to challenge the status quo. His humor often centers around taboo subjects, and he's known for saying things others wouldn't dare. But his commitment to pushing boundaries has led to controversies, especially in the current cultural climate, where sensitivity around certain topics is at an all-time high. Oh, women. Uh, not all women. I, I mean the old-fashioned ones. You know, the old-fashioned women. Oh, God. You know, the ones with wombs. Oh. No, I love the, the new women. I know the new women. They're great, aren't they? You know, the new ones we've been seeing lately. The, the ones with beards and cocks. They're as good as... And now the old-fashioned, they're like, oh, they want to use our toilets. Why shouldn't they use your toilets? For ladies. They are ladies. Look at their pronouns. <laughs> One of the most controversial topics Gervais has addressed is gender identity. In his stand-up specials, he's made jokes about gender fluidity and transgender people, which have led to significant backlash. Critics argue that his jokes are insensitive and harmful to the transgender community. But Gervais defends his comedy, claiming he targets absurdity and hypocrisy not individuals or marginalized groups. Gervais has stated that his comedy is about questioning everything, including societal norms and language. He argues that no topic should be off limits in comedy, as long as it's approached intelligently and with the intent to entertain, not to harm. To him, joking about gender identity isn't about denying someone's existence or rights, but about exploring how we, as a society, talk about these issues. Gervais's stance on gender and trans issues puts him at odds with many in Hollywood and progressive circles, where there's a strong emphasis on using inclusive language and showing sensitivity towards gender identity. Woke people argue that even if his intent isn't malicious, his jokes can still perpetuate stereotypes and contribute to a hostile environment for trans people. It's a nonsense that, to believe that some people deserve never to be offended their whole life. You, sh you don't close down free speech because it's offensive. You argue with it. You have more free speech and you expose the people. And, and, uh, you know, I, and I think that's the only way to do it. A key principle that underpins Gervais' approach to comedy is free speech. He's a staunch advocate for the right to say anything, especially within the context of comedy. Gervais believes that comedy should challenge ideas, provoke thought, and sometimes even offend. For him, the line of free speech is crossed only when there's a direct call for violence or harm. This idea that being offended doesn't equate to being correct is a cornerstone of Gervais' comedic philosophy. He argues that in a free society, everyone should have the right to express their views, even if those views are unpopular or uncomfortable. To Gervais, the danger lies in censorship and self-censorship, where comedians and artists feel pressured to avoid certain topics out of fear of backlash. Woke Hollywood's stance on free speech argue that words have power and can cause real harm, especially to marginalized groups. They believe that there should be a level of responsibility when discussing sensitive topics, and that comedians should be aware of the impact their words can have. However, Gervais counters that the role of comedy is to challenge norms and that stifling free expression is a slippery slope. But yeah, but when you come to see one of my gigs, that's my church. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is like, your, your only choice is leaving. Yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah. And I think that, and, and in art, you know, that is your only choice. You know, you know um, the only form of censorship is your right not to listen. Yeah, it's And that's weird. cool. Ricky Gervais has also been a vocal critic of what's known as cancel culture. Cancel culture refers to the phenomenon where public figures are boycotted, shamed, or deplatformed for things they've said or done, often in the past. Gervais argues that this culture of outrage is unhealthy and stifles open dialogue. Gervais has pointed out the hypocrisy in cancel culture where people dig up old tweets or statements to discredit someone. 
he believes this ignores the fact that people can change and evolve over time. According to him, the rush to cancel someone doesn't allow for genuine discussion or understanding. In the eyes of woke people, Gervais' dismissal of cancel culture minimizes the importance of accountability. They argue that when public figures say harmful things, they should face consequences. However, Gervais maintains that the conversation should be about learning and growing, not about punishing people for their past. Well, I am woke, and now I'm woke, the first thing I've got to do is change my Twitter bio. Because at the moment, it's like a list of the shows I've created. But now I'm woke, I've got to pop in the word anti-fascist. <laughs> so people know I'm not a fascist. Hollywood has become increasingly vocal about social justice issues, often using award shows and social media platforms to promote causes like gender equality, racial justice, and gay rights. This shift towards what's known as woke culture reflects a broader societal trend towards greater awareness and advocacy for marginalized groups. The term woke originally meant being alert to social injustices, but it has since evolved into a broader cultural phenomenon that emphasizes political correctness and progressive values. For many in Hollywood, being woke means actively supporting social justice movements and using one's platform to speak out against inequality. Ricky Gervais's approach to comedy, however, often runs counter to these values. He's criticized Hollywood's self-righteousness and what he sees as a lack of self-awareness among celebrities. During his Golden Globes hosting stints, Gervais took aim at the hypocrisy of Hollywood's elite, calling out the disconnect between their public advocacy and their private actions. All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know, and the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? Gervais' most high-profile clashes with Hollywood's woke culture came during his Golden Globes hosting stints. He's been unapologetic in his roasting of the entertainment industry, calling out what he perceives as hypocrisy. At the core of his comedy is a belief in the power of humor to tackle difficult topics and expose truths. Gervais often references the idea that humor can be a weapon of intellect and a way to bring light to the absurdities of life. Gervais has pointed out that comedy has always been a tool for pushing societal boundaries. In his view, nothing should be off limits because the very act of censoring certain topics can lead to a lack of understanding and progress. He has frequently cited George Carlin and Richard Pryor, comedians known for their fearless approach to controversial subjects, as major influences. He said, Comedy is not just about making people laugh. It's about making people think. The best comedy always has a grain of truth. I do like to make them think as well, and I do like it to resonate, and I do like them to you know, think of it the next day. And that's why I deal in taboo subjects as well, because yeah. I think I want to take them to a place they haven't been before. Exactly. Because I think comedy is a surprise. And, um, yeah, okay. And uh, I do feel, if I, when I start on a contentious subject, mm -hmm. I feel the tension. In defending his comedy, Gervais often refers to the idea that satire and humor are essential parts of a healthy society. He believes comedians should have the freedom to explore all topics, even those that are uncomfortable or controversial. In his view, limiting what can be joked about is the first step towards limiting what can be discussed openly in society. Gervais's stance is that comedy is one of the few remaining platforms where people can engage with difficult ideas without the usual constraints of polite society. He has warned against what he sees as the growing tendency to equate words with actions, suggesting that humor, even if offensive, is not the same as real-world harm. Hi guys, Ricky G here, wellness and beauty influencer. As a celebrity, I know all about stuff, like science and politics. So trust me when I tell you who you should vote for. If you don't vote the right way, it's like a hate crime or makes me sad and angry and I'll leave the country. <laughs>